three common problems with the Orphan Espresso Lido 3 and how to solve them. We're going to talk about that today on FrenchPressCoffee.com. Hey everyone, I'm Brian with FrenchPressCoffee.com and let's talk about how to solve common issues with the Orphan Espresso Lido 3. Problem number one, the adjustment ring on the Lido can't be loosened. You'll notice right now I'm trying to loosen mine up and it just won't come. So if you found that you just can't get that ring to loosen up by hand, here's a quick and easy fix. I have right here a couple band tools and these tools are really useful because what they allow me to do is use a rubber band to wrap around something and loosen or tighten it up. You can find these at Home Depot, Lowe's, they're pretty inexpensive. I've got two different sized ones here. You'll notice I've got one that's fairly wide and one that's thin. I'm going to start with the thin one right here, this thin rubber band. I'm going to get this nice and tight over that middle ring. And then I'm just going to start turning. Mm -hmm. There we go. And now it's loosened up. Now I'll be able to adjust my middle ring. Now, if you still cannot get that middle ring to move at all and you need a little more torque, take your second band tool, put this over the middle large adjustment ring, get that right up on there, and then get that tool back over the small ring and now again tighten up and then utilizing these two tools you'll be able to turn and you can see now I've loosened it up. So this one will allow you to hold the device in place and this one will loosen that ring. After you've done that you can take both of these off and then you'll be able to adjust your middle adjustment ring more easily. And in order to avoid this problem in the future, don't put excessive force onto that middle ring. If you bring this all the way up to the top and then wrench it down, I've already made it hard for me to be able to loosen that. I'm able to get it, but if you really wrench that down, it's going to be very hard to adjust and you'll end up having to use these tools in order to loosen the ring. Problem number two with the Lido 3 is that some folks have found that the grinder handle is starting to become loose. And this can happen because over time of adjusting this back and forth, this screw right here can start to come loose. It'll start to come out. The hex wrench that comes with the Lido 3 doesn't actually fit this screw. This is a two and a half millimeter metric uh, hex wrench and I'm going to take this, pop this into this screw and just tighten this down. And we'll just turn that until it stops turning. Again, don't force it, don't wrench it down too heavily. The handle may have a little bit of play. That's okay because it does need to be able to be pulled up and then turned towards the center of the Lido. So it'll be a little bit loose, but it's all right in that case because again, that's for adjusting it. But this way you'll find that now you've tightened it down and you're not going to have as much play in the handle. Problem number three and the final problem that we've found folks running into with the Lido 3 is with the new stainless steel grounds catch jar. Uh, the Lido did come with a plastic grounds catch jar for a while, but the problem with that catch jar is that the plastic threads around it started to wear down over time. So Lido had a fix for that. They're now including the stainless steel double wall catch jar and you can get this at French Press Coffee com if you don't have this for your Lido, but what folks have been running into is that sometimes it's a little hard to screw this catch jar in. You can see if I don't kind of aim properly here, it's a little hard to get this to tighten up. So the fix for this is just take your time to line up and kind of feel where those threads start to catch. Don't force it. You can hear a little bit of a pop right there and then now just screw it in very carefully. And again, don't wrench this down. None of the parts on the Lido need to be forced down. If you do that, it's gonna be hard to take it apart. And of course you could damage the device if you do too much of that. So just take your time, line up those threads, feel it out a little bit, screw it right down and you're good. And a bonus cool thing about this catch jar is you can use this as a mug because it is double walled. And there you have it everyone, quick fixes for three of the most common problems with the Orphan Espresso Lido 3. Now do you have other issues that you need addressed? Do you need help? Do you have questions, comments about the Lido? Do you love using it to grind? Get in touch in the comments section of this video or find us at frenchpresscoffee.com. As always everyone, I'm Brian. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time and take care. 
Did you like that video? Well, please give us a thumbs up. Yeah? All right. All right, good. Now, make sure to subscribe, and I'm going to tell you an awesome coffee quote. Don't worry, I'll wait. Ah, there you go. All right, thanks. And here's my quote. A morning without coffee is like sleep.